my lovelies. Today I'm going to tell you the story about how I met Usher. But to tell you this story, I have to go way back to the beginning. So, a couple of years ago, I was walking along the foreshore, which is a walk here in Newcastle, the city I live in. And it kind of goes out into the water and back. So I was doing this walk with my grandfather and my auntie. And this lady stopped us and asked if I'd take a picture for her. Of course I said, sure, no worries. So she hands me her camera and I took some snaps of her with like the beautiful beach behind her and there's a lighthouse and everything. She had a very obvious American accent. So I asked her why she was here and how long she was here for. And she said that she was here for two nights and that she was here with work. And I was like, wow, that's a, that's a very quick trip. <laughs> what kind of work do you do? That's when she replied, I work with Usher. Do you know who Usher is? Yes, I know who Usher is. And then she was like, okay, bye. And, and she kept walking. My grandfather and my auntie were like, who, who's that? And I was just like, I've got to talk to her again. This is amazing. So the thing was, she was walking out and we were walking back. So I decided to walk really slowly back, <laughs> knowing she'd have to pass me again. Bit sneaky, but I, I just wanted to know more about her. So when she came back, I asked her if she wanted any more pictures. And she said, yeah, that'd be great. So I took some more pictures and and then I said, would you like to go on a tour of Newcastle? She said, yes. And so we took her on this tour around Newcastle showing her some of the old buildings and some of the history and some of the amazing beaches. It was kind of getting like close to dinner time. And I knew my mum was making a baked dinner and she is, does the best baked dinners ever. So I just put it out there. Would you like to come back to dinner? Um, we're having a bake. And she's like, oh, oh, I couldn't do that to you. And I was like, no, no, seriously, if you want to, it's, it's no problem at all. She was like, really? I have not had a home-cooked meal for seven months on this tour. And we're like, sure, come back. So we brought her back to my house. We had this amazing dinner and she told us about the stars she's worked with, Justin Timberlake, um, Michael Crawford. She's done the Emmys and the Grammys, and she works with Cirque du Soleil. She's their dresser, so she helps make the, the costumes. And when they run backstage for their quick costume changes, she does that. But also, she started telling us about her amazing life and how she'd been adopted and how she'd been on this journey of finding her family and she'd finally found her mother and sadly her mother had passed away just a few months before she found her which which was sad but then she found out she had brothers and sisters she never knew about and so she was meeting all this new family and it was just she was just so lovely just had such a good night and so the end of the night came and we dropped her back to her hotel I thought that was going to be it. So the next day, I went to school and I was like, everybody, you would never guess what happened to me yesterday. Yeah, bit of, I was a bit of a show off. But how could you not? Like, my peer's response was, Lex, you probably just invited a random lady back to your house. She probably doesn't know any famous people. You probably just gave her a free meal. And I was like... Oh, uh, no, I swear she's real. <laughs> I swear she's legit. That afternoon, she did call me and she said that she had two tickets for the concert that night if I'd like to come. I was like, yes, yep, yes, I would love to. She's like, great, bring a friend along. Would you like to come to the before party? Yep. Yes, 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 I would. Yup. Uh -huh. So we, I called my best friend and I was like, get here, dress, Usher, now. She's like, what? 
finally got it through to her, she rushed over, we rushed off to the concert. So we arrive at the concert and first of all we get to see Usher warming up on stage. So certain people had actually paid extra money to see this show, this, not show, it was just him warming up, but they paid for this intimate experience kind of thing. So we were probably about two or fifty in that room, but we were still front row of that and about a meter away from him while his he's doing his warm-ups and we were like whoa this is amazing and then she she said hey girls do you want to come backstage again yep <laughs> sure so we went backstage and we got to go through Usher's wardrobe we got to meet some of the the background crew which were all lovely and then we went into Usher's dressing room and that is when Usher left the stage, came down the stairs, topless and very sweaty, very beautiful. And he said, hi girls. And this was my reaction. Uh, nothing came out. Like, you idiot. I look like the biggest idiot. And my friend was like, hey, Asha. Well, I'm just like, We then got to go back and have dinner with them all. Unfortunately, Usher didn't attend the main dinner, but all the backing singers, all the backup dancers were there, and we sat with them, and they were just like, your accent's weird. And we are like, your accent's weird, because um, they're all obviously very American. <laughs> and it was just a lot of fun. Then we got to go out and watch the show in the mosh, but in the section where like the kind of DJ light guy sits, so in that little cornered off rectangle bit. We had these um, badges, which I can flash up, um, and they were like Usher's guests. And it was just the most surreal night of my life. I also need to thank my mum for letting me go on the night because the next day were some of my year 12 really important exams. But my mum knew that this was just a once in a lifetime experience and she let me go. The thing is that the story doesn't end there. The beautiful lady, and I can't say her name on here because of privacy issues, but the beautiful lady kept in touch. And through my sickness through the past few years, she has been writing to me and sending her best wishes. And then the beginning of this year, suddenly this massive parcel arrived. And this was the contents. It was all the merchandise from this new Cirque du Soleil show called Iris, Iris? Oh, saying it wrong? Iris. I think it's Iris. And so that was beautiful. Then the reason why I've thought to even share this story with you today is because this came in the mail. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. <laughs> and it's a postcard from her. She's, um, she's just been to Broadway. And she was just telling me about the musical she's seen and everything. So the moral of this story and the reason I love this story isn't actually the fact that I got to meet Asha. It's the fact that I made an amazing friend and a lifelong friend through just this random meeting on the foreshore. Yeah, I think it's, it's a really positive because... I think a lot of the times these days we're told not to approach strangers and not to talk to strangers but on this occasion I guess we just both vibed that we were both safe <laughs> and through that through trusting each other we we both gained a friendship and I think that's
that's so cool. How cool is that? For this video, I'm not saying just go and talk to any stranger. <laughs> Obviously, you've still got to be careful. But sometimes, you can make the most amazing friends. And how lovely is that? And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Thank you. Bye.